about four or five years ago, I rode off the GoPro cameras. I vowed never to buy another GoPro. My first GoPro was the Hero 4, and it worked great. I used it on my big bike trip, six months on the road, pedaling through seven states, 4,300 miles, up the entire west coast. Uh, it had its drawbacks. You always had to have it in the case or the housing uh, whenever you were in any wet weather, which was quite a bit in the northwest. Um, but it was still a pretty decent camera, pretty reliable. And uh, so when the, the Hero 5 came out, with all the new features and no longer requiring a, uh, a case or housing, um, I jumped on it. I decided, okay, this is a good upgrade. Well, I was really disappointed. The audio in my previous GoPro, the Hero 5, was the reason that I said no more GoPros. It just turned me off. It was just horrendous. It was unusable. You touch the camera, you move the camera, it's mounted on anything, even a handle or a pole, and you touch that. And it was just awful. Like I said, you couldn't use it. And one reason that, you know, I really just said no more GoPros after that was that their reaction, the company's reaction, they didn't respond to any complaints. A lot of people were posting videos about the issue, posting online and forums, and GoPro wouldn't respond, wouldn't, you know, replace the camera, take it back. They wouldn't, uh, they didn't up, you know, do a firmware or anything to try to fix it. They just ignored the problem and, you know, rushed out another model, the next model, GoPro 6, I guess. So after that, I said no more, but after waiting for a while when this camera came out and watching some of the videos, I've noticed that I, I haven't seen anybody, you know, complain about the, the audio. So I decided to give it a shot, give it another try. And I'll let you see what it's got. I've got it on a just a handle that comes with the camera. Let's see if uh, I'm just using. So you can see the handle. And so normally on, on the Hero 5, if I just switched hands, you would hear like a real you know, you'd hear it just any noise if I touched the handle. It would just barely touch it. It would, you could hear it and, the, and it just ruined it. Um, same with the camera. If you just touched it, you could hear it. And, it, and so it made vlogging or just, you know, recording everyday videos uh, pretty much useless, worthless. And so this camera, I think, is probably resolved those issues. And um, I, I really, so far, I'm impressed with it. I like the forward-facing uh, screen, so you can kind of frame your, your video. Uh, the camera itself is a little larger, and it feels a little heavier. Uh, it seems like better, maybe, materials. The controls, the buttons are a little larger, whereas on the 5, you know, you had to kind of dig your fingernail into a little tab or a button and then pull it open. And it really wasn't made for folks with um, regular size hands. It's like they made it for people who have small hands. It just wasn't engineered very well, very thoughtful. So I, this one seems to be much better. I've got the uh, lens mod on it right now, which is kind of a wider angle. I also like how I can, you know, I'm tilting the camera sideways and it's got the horizon lock or where it keeps it level. So that's pretty cool. Um, I ordered the media mod, which will have a, a another um, kind of like an external microphone with a um, oh like a dead cat or a muff or something to help with the wind, and it also has a couple shoes on it for attaching things to the camera. I also ordered the LED light, uh, little rechargeable lights that you can mount on it. So I'm. Um, kind of happy with the camera so far. I think this will work uh, as I travel and, and um, kind of share my experiences in the, the ambulance here and getting out on the road more and uh, just 
I think this camera hopefully will last for a long time and I won't have to spend a lot of money on anything new for a while. So uh, you guys take care and um, I'll be posting, posting soon.